guys! So today I wanted to talk about the To All the Boys I've Loved Before series. This was part of my video of the books I wanted to read this year and they got read. So I wanted to talk about them for a little bit. Um, I'm really bad at pitching books, which is weird because I was literally taught how to pitch a book and I'm so bad at it. It might not make you want to read them because I'm really bad at explaining things, but they're really good. You should totally read them. There's a trilogy and it's by Jenny Han, if you've never heard of this um, series. And the first book has been turned into a Netflix movie, but there's also going to be a sequel. So I'm hoping they actually do three movies to go with the three books. But we'll see. I think they might have started filming now um, for the movie. So hopefully it comes out later this year. That would be awesome. But probably next year. And the first movie was really, really good. The synopsis, I guess, of the series is that Laura Jean has fallen in love with five boys over the course of her life. And she writes each of them a letter when she falls in love with them. Or I guess when she falls out of love with them, whatever she decides. And she writes a letter, she puts it in her hat box, and then she puts it in her closet. So she doesn't send them, she just writes out her feelings and then puts it away. Her letters end up getting sent to the boys that she wrote them about. She starts freaking out because her sister's boyfriend was one of them that got a letter. Her sister just broke up with her boyfriend, so uh, everything is a little fresh. The wound is still fresh. And so she kind of like makes it a little worse by uh, having him get his letter, but she didn't send it out. So she was like just as freaked out as everybody else was. Every boy that she wrote to had some sort of past with her. One of them is Peter and he said, let's pretend that we're together. Make this like a real, a real thing. Make it seem like we're actually together so that way her sister's ex-boyfriend doesn't like try to go after her for the letter and so his ex-girlfriend gets jealous so it would be like the perfect way to get both of them to kind of be all right and um to have the people off their backs a little bit so they pretend to be boyfriend and girlfriend and then of course they fall in love so that's basically the premise of the whole series it's a very cute series the relationship is a little weird. They break up a bunch of times and every time Peter is like so dramatic. He's like, I don't even want to look at you. Give me back my necklace. And then they get back together and they break up and they get back together. So that was kind of annoying. But overall, I think it was a really cute series. Um, I was definitely wishing there was going to be another one after the third one because I don't love the way it ended. I guess I'm going to, you know, spoil a little bit here. Might as well. So um, it ends with Laura Jean going to a college that's different than Peter's and they are trying to make it work and do long distance, but they didn't actually get to college. So I wish there was another one where they were in college and seeing if it works out and everything because that would be really cute. Overall, I think it's a great series. I think it was super cute. I don't know why I waited so long to read it. Um, when I worked at Books A Million, I saw these books and I was like, these are so pretty. Because they are. I love the, um, the script on it and I love the girl on it. She's super cute. And here's the second one. And then this one's the first one. So when I worked at Books A Million, I did look at them a lot. And I was like, yeah, you know, I would, I would really like to read those. And then I heard that it was getting turned into a movie. So I watched the movie and loved it. And then I was like, well... Now I definitely have to buy the books. So I got all three of them at Books A Million. I went ahead and caved and bought them. And then I just never read them. I wouldn't just read the books. I wouldn't just watch the movies. Um, I would do both because um, after I watched the movie, I was like, okay, that was cool. Um, I felt like there weren't any loose, well, it ends on a cliffhanger, but it's supposed to. Um, I, I didn't feel like I was missing anything. I didn't feel like I would have to read the books to understand the movie or anything. They're separate things, but it definitely makes it better to watch the movies and read the books. Also, that way I kind of had a picture in my mind of what 
the characters were supposed to look like because of the movie. I think the casting was great. Lana Condor, she is the cutest. Noah Centineo or whatever his name is. <laughs> he is a very good actor. <sighs> um, that's it. I think he's crazy, but he's a great actor. <laughs> so um, he's definitely weird. He's the kid in class that would like just yell and scream and like disrupt the class and the teacher would be like, can you not? That was him in school for sure. If I could change anything about this series, again, I'm gonna like give some stuff away. Um, I kind of wish that when her and Peter broke up and she started talking to uh, John, I actually wish she dated John for a while because I think they would have been a really cute couple. And I have a feeling if they broke up, John wouldn't ask for his necklace back and he wouldn't be rude and everything. He would be a lot sweeter. Honestly, I would have been fine with uh, Laura Jean and John getting together and being together for the whole series. I think that would have been just fine because John is such a sweetheart and she knew his grandmother and everything and he was just so polite and so wonderful, and I think that's the kind of guy Laura Jean would be more willing to go after, not the popular guy who plays sports. It doesn't seem like her type, and I think realistically she would have just gone out with John and stayed with him. I think maybe the, uh, the readers got really attached to Peter and they were like, oh my god, never break them up, but like... I think her and John would have been cuter together, but I think that might just be me. I'm happy with the the story here, but I probably would have been happier with the story of her and John. So let me know what your thoughts are. Do you prefer her and John? Do you prefer her and Josh? Do you prefer her and Peter? I never really liked her and Josh together, especially because she is so close to her sisters that she would never go after her sister's ex-boyfriend. She would never do that. Um, because her sisters would always come first, definitely before a man. But I also don't think Peter would have been into her. I think what would have happened is they would have had their little contract and were fake boyfriend and girlfriend, and then Genevieve would get all upset, and then they'd end up getting back together. And he'd be on his way with Jen, and Laura Jean would be on her way with John. But... I don't know. Um, I didn't write the story, obviously. I know Jenny Han also has another series. I didn't end up reading that one, but I'm sure it's wonderful because I really do love the way she writes. It's very, like, realistic. You really get a feel for all the characters and everything, and it's a very easy book to read. I've read all these in a week. One of them I read just, like, in a couple hours, just sat there and read the whole thing, so they're easy books to read. They're easy to go through and pick up another and go through and go through and go through. You never feel like you're sitting there and you've been like, oh my god, I've been reading the same book for hours. You know, you don't feel like that because you're having fun the whole way. The pacing is great. Um, it definitely doesn't feel like it's going on too long or too many inner dialogues or too much of this or that. It feels like great pacing, great characters, um, love everything about it. They were done so well. Definitely appreciate that. I saw zero errors, which is always wonderful. If you like any type of YA, I think you're gonna like it. There were a couple cuss words. There were some mentions to like sex and stuff. I don't think middle grade kids should really read it. I think it is good at young adult where it's like 15 plus years old maybe. Yeah, I don't even think 13 to 14 year olds should read it, but I mean times are different now than they were when I was 13, so nothing is graphic, nothing is anything like that. Pretty clean for young young adult, good series. So that's that on that. I definitely need to get better at pitching my books because I'm so bad at it, like oh my god. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you wanna, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!